This is Rachel with Raza, and today we're going to install Raza 3.0 on Windows 10. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is to install all of the dependencies needed for TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a Raza dependency, and to install TensorFlow on Windows 7 or later, you're going to need to download the C++ redistributable, which you can find here. So you'll need to pick the uh, distributable for your specific architecture. Once you've downloaded this, you'll want to run through the command prompt and follow the instructions, including restarting your computer. Once you've got C++ downloaded and installed on your computer, you're going to want to install Anaconda as well. You don't have to use Anaconda, but I find it's easier because it also installs Python. And for this, I'm going to be using the individual edition. If you are using Rasa for work, you're going to probably want to use one of the other editions or another solution. So we're going to download. This download is for Python 3.9, so we're going to have to downgrade to 3.8 because as of December 2021, Raza 3.x does not yet support Python 3.9. So download and save, and then we'll run the file together. Once you've downloaded Anaconda, you'll want to step through this 64-bit setup prompt agree to the end user's license agreement, and install for either just you or all users. Uh, I'm going to install for just me on this computer right now. Pick the folder where you want Anaconda to be installed, and then decide whether or not you want to add it to your path environment. If this is the only version of Anaconda you have installed on your computer, adding it to the path environment will make it a little bit quicker to run, but you may choose not to do that if you have multiple versions of Anaconda installed. And then I'm going to register Anaconda as the default for Python 3.9. Now that we have installed Anaconda, we need to create an environment within Anaconda that we can install Raza into. So I've opened the Anaconda prompt by hitting Windows key and then typing Anaconda prompt and clicking on it when it came up. And one thing that I want to show you so that you know is that we currently have Python 3.9 installed. Raza Open Source 3.0 currently only supports uh, Python 3.8 and 3.7. So we are going to create a new environment with Python 3.8. To do that, we're going to do conda create name and then the name of whatever it is that you want to call your environment. I'm going to call it install demo. Uh, and then I'm going to specify that I want Python version 3.8. Now that my environment has been created, I now need to Activate it. So I will do that using this command here. Uh, install demo here will be whatever the name of your particular environment is that you created. From here, I'm going to uh, uninstall pip and then reinstall the latest version of pip. The pip 20 versions, many of them um, get stuck in really long dependency loops. So just upgrading is probably the easiest way to make sure that you don't have any issues. And completely uninstalling and reinstalling is the most sort of generally applicable way to do that. So to uninstall python-m pip uninstall, and yes, I'm sure I want to go ahead. Now I'm going to run python-m ensure pip. And finally, I am going to upgrade to the latest version using python-m pip install-uppercase u pip. Great. So this should ensure that I'm going to have the latest version of PIP running, and you can see uh, that right now it is 21.3.1. Finally, I am ready to install Raza. We shouldn't need to install TensorFlow separately or anything, so we'll do that using PIP install Raza. Great. Now it's finished installing. We can see that it's installed successfully by doing Raza dash, which will show us the help and all of the commands that are available to us in the command line interface. And I'm just going to quickly show you a uh, demo of starting a new Raza assistant. So I'm going to change directories to a directory that I have empty. And I'm going to use Raza init to create a new assistant. Current directory. I want to train an initial model. And then I'm going to talk to my assistant. So let's talk to our assistant on the command line. So let's start our conversation by saying, hi, the assistant asks, how are you? And I'm going to say, I'm very sad. And it will send me a picture of a tiger. So this is Moodbot. It's the assistant gets, gets initialized whenever you create a new Raza directory and assistant using Raza in it. So I hope this was helpful. Good luck installing Raza and working on your projects. And I hope you build some fantastic bots.